horrible torture this is. It's like watching some maniacal, horrible schoolboy pulling legs off a spider. It's revolting. And poor old Jeff Warren. Is he spider? Well, hardly a spider. Poor Millie Ann. Oh, dear. There goes another one. And it's just a... A grim battle of survival for Millie Amberg. <laughs> they can articulate no more. Well, they can up, of course, in the little control booth. And full of fun, the Warrens. Even Liz, Mum. She's involved now. She's the retired chief medical officer of the Plymouth Blood Bank. And she needs some transfusion now. And, of course, Razor is the winner. And then again, pushing the Warren boys away. In comes the pickaxe and shunt. Off goes the Kevlar hair. Looks like spaghetti that's been left in the pan too long. Dead metal now with the great circular saw. Oh, Matilda joining in the fun. What's Razor doing to Matilda? I, I really dread to think. There's dead metal. They're all having a little bit of Millian bug. The ugly bug all over and out. Well, the wheels come off Millie and Bug's challenge as they face the awesome Razor's Edge. The winner is Razor! Well, when you're facing like a seeded robot like that Razor, which is fairly awesome, what's going through your mind? What was your plan? How do you think you, you uh, could win? Let's get this over as quickly as possible. <laughs> if if you'd have had any mobility, you'd have gone straight for the house robots <laughs> <laughs> to get it over quick. Well, all your wheels came off. You've uh, well, I think they were picked off yeah. by, by this lot. Yeah. They were picked yeah. off. Very cleverly. Some terrible damage you've done as well. Uh, yeah, but it's been entertaining damage. Do you think you can rebuild that robot? Or uh, no, throw uh, it away uh, and start this, again. This is the excuse I've been looking for to make a new robot. Now I well. think we'll, we'll we'll come back with something different. Probably. But, you, but, but you we've will enjoyed be back. ourselves while we're here and uh, had a great time. Thanks, lads. Well, oh, Craig, we feel a bit guilty. Well, it's it like a lamb to the slaughter, wasn't it? What can I say? It wasn't big and it wasn't clever. It was just pure bullying, it was, really. It was wasn't Finny. It? He egged us on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my fault. I said let's pick him off. It'd be like pulling the legs off the spider. Well, you see the three. You see the three. You, the smart money is on you, though. Do you think you can go all the way? Well, we've given our best shot. And you haven't broken down yet? No. no. Yeah. World first. It's not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Razor! <laughs> You can see where they're seated three razor. Millian Bug brave to the end. And next up, Robo Chicken against the 19th seed, the Pussy Cat. Robo Chicken. Yeah. Is the chicken gonna chase the cat or will the cat chase the chicken or what? Who's gonna come first? It'll be us. It'll, It'll be, be us. You. No problem. We survived Razor. We'll survive a lesser mortal. Oh, fighting talk. But it is actually a chicken, isn't it? Because what it does is it attacks from behind. So it's a coward. It doesn't no. reveal its weapon. It's not a cowardly bit of chicken. How's your cutter working OK? Because I know it exploded yeah, last time. Fine? Absolutely perfect. And uh, strategy? Strategy? Go in and kill him. Chicken and all their plans come home to roost. Jason Snow, Farron White, and Alec Dick. There's the Pussycat team with the nine lives Alan Gribble, Robert Beddington, and David Gribble. Similarities between the two, you may not think many, but there are, you know, when my mum cooks chicken, it tends to taste like cat. She's watching, there goes my Sunday lunch. Bouncing in on the front flipper blade of Robo Chicken, which is bent, but holding on. Now the cat has that sort of inherent self writing technique, more than a mechanism, more than a shriek. All cats can land on their feet, as they said earlier on in the program. The blade just buffeting, but not causing great damage at the moment. Robo Chicken, a lot braver than we thought, but something's gone there. Oh, hi, hi, what's happened? Might have been given an old crack of the lash. 
the lashes have gone here. It's the eyelashes of the chicken that have gone. And the eye. Only one. <laughs> one remains. Bit of fair respect, someone had, anyone's got any. Any contacts we're seeing here, contacts of metal on metal. And the robo chicken, well, hardly feathers, but you know what I mean. Dented. Oh, which came first, the chicken or the egg brain that devised all that? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Battered. And you get the sense that Pussycat is just like a cat with a mouse, almost, waiting to come in for the kill. Onto the arena walls, hard push here. You see good driving by Pussycat. And, in fact, the blade is clutched into the side of the robo-chicken, into the flanks. The beak just nods almost forlornly. There's the blade of Pussycat. Shards spin away onto the tough and glass side walls of the arena. It's excruciating now for Robo Chicken. In towards Kill a Lot. Oh, that won't help, really, will it? Got a great pair of shears, if you like, to do the carving. There's Kill a Lot. And the lance as well. Go on, give it a bit of the lance. We, we like chicken kebab on the program. Which way does the chicken go here? Towards the pit, I fear. Oh, onto the arena flipper. And from the floor of the arena, we'll see flying chicken. But we're not flying tonight. We're frying tonight. If only they could drag the chicken towards the barbecue pit. In comes Shunt. As far as Robo Chicken's concerned, they're all out of luck. And it's the Pussycat who goes for it. Well, the cat gets the cream, but Robo Chicken has to cluck off. The winner is Pussycat. Come on out, lads. These days, free-range farming is, like, you know, very trendy. That was more like a, an assault and battery chicken there, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really go that well for you lads, did it? Well, we had a good go. Well, at first, when your flipper was working, it looked like, you know, you're in with a chance, but they've got some curious sore, haven't they? That's right, and wherever you flip them, yeah. they just keep on going. So. That's it, self-writing, you see, yeah. self-writing. You know, it can go both sides, so it's no good flipping them over, was it? Not much. Well, have you enjoyed it? Brilliant, yeah, yes. Yeah. And, you know, the sartorial elegance that you brought to the show is most appreciated. Yeah. Will you come back next time? Next, Definitely. Yeah. All right, Robo Chicken. <laughs> well, the Pussycat Boys, you've got the cream. It's like a great big loving tonight on Robot Wars. Look at this, look at this. All right, all right, let them put them down, put them down. <laughs> was you driving? Yes, I was. What was your game plan? Because it looked at first, though, he was quite a tough robot, didn't it? Yeah, um, I think it's one of the toughest we've come across so far. That saw's unusual, that sort of circular blade. What's that? It's designed by Robert, the weapon. You, you designed the weapon? Yeah, designed. But it's, it, it's, it seems to be better than the normal circular saws, because yeah. it kind of it can rip things a bit more, can't it? Shred it. bigger surface area for the impact, so it tends to launch stuff instead of cut through it. A bigger surface area for the impact. Yeah. yeah I understand exactly what you mean there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Pussycats! Oh, that was great fun. Just what Robot Wars should be about, Pussycat and Robo Chicken. It's Pussycat. They go through to meet Razor, of course, in the final. The number three seeds against the number 19 seeds. That should be some battle, I'll tell you. Let's see what damage we really got. Very little, I think. Yeah, we are digging Kevlar out of the wheels at the moment. It was a million secret weapon. And we're, we're getting there. So it'll be back together shortly. The motor's red hot. Is it? I mean, red hot. Yeah. It's a funny shape. It does tend to roll around the arena a lot. Um, so it's, it's getting a nip on it and uh, giving it a squeeze. And stopping that nasty disc going round. I think they'll be just as worried about us. The number three seeds. You've seen the damage already that we can do. It's going to be a good fight, I think, at the end of the day. Yeah. 
That's the trouble. Yeah, we got a clutch on him that uh, stops the motor stalling out, and uh, it's been slipping a lot. It's supposed to slip, but uh, I think the tension we put on it with the torque wrench is now uh, has changed. The pads, the pads are worn down, so we're gonna have to tighten it up. And uh, that's it. We're, we're ready to run again. While our surviving robots go for some tender love and kerosene, let's have some fun. Now. If there's ever an oil famine, then this lot of robots are definitely going to be the last to go. It's our sumo basho. Let the trials begin!